Hi there, Taurus. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? We have duality. Queen of Wands. Sun. Nine of Sword. Magician. King of Wands. Mm, look at how King and Queen of Wands line up here. Page of Cups. Chariot Energy. All right. So I feel like your person is looking at something from a different perspective. Maybe they're seeing your side of the story here. Um, something. We have Chariot here for what? Spirit most wants us to know. So I feel like this. there's something about this connection, like merging this connection. There's something about being on the same page here with the, with the chariot, queen of wands, king of wands. What your person is most desiring is magician. So they want to manifest a new reality, but they want to uh, uh, be on the same page with you. It's kind of like... um. A pause. There's a pause here, um, and a and a refreshing, a refreshment. Uh, if that makes any sense, but I think I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here. This chariot card in what spirit most wants us to know. This you know chariot for me is like kind of like um, the the you, the me, and the us. The energy of the relationship. Your energy, your person's energy, and the chariot representing the energy of the relationship. You know, and in order to draw the relationship forward, in order to draw that chariot forward, we got to be, be on the same page. We've got to be going in the same direction here. And I love chariot cards because there's usually, um, you know, different scenarios in, in the different decks. You know, like these particular uh, these particular uh, sphinxes, I guess we'll call them sphinxes, um, drawing this this chariot, they're taking a break. They're contemplating. All right, where are we going? You know, it's like it has to be, we have to be going in the same place in order to move, you know, move this forward. Sometimes chariots, um, you know, they're all different, but this one's, this one, they're taking a moment to regroup and figure out where we're going. And I love this because we have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, you know, side by side here or, or, um, you know, complimenting each other here. Uh, so your person wants to get on the same page. They want to manifest uh, a new beginning here. They want to tell you, um, you know, what they're desiring, what they want out of this relationship. And they also want to know what you want out of this relationship. So you can, you know, move forward. So you can, you know, connect, discuss where you both want to go and move in that direction here. We have nine of sword in your person's heart space. So, you know, they worry a bit about, you know, are you, do you want the same, whoa, do you want the same things as I want. See now, you know, when things weird things happen during during readings, whether you know the phone rings or or something falls or the, my my bench I'm sitting on just like kind of almost fell over, like I almost lost my balance here. So, this is about you know keeping balance, being on the same page. Otherwise, you know, you 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 go off kilter, you fall over if you you know lean too far to one side. You, you fall over here. But, okay, so this duality card, uh, this is one of the um, extra, what do they call them, exclusive cards in this deck. And this is about, the duality is about a perspective. You know, you can see the same thing and see it differently um, is what that card. And it's kind of reminding me of this chariot card because if you, in order to move your chariot, you have to, you know, have the same... Um, goal in mind here uh but the the duality uh let's see uh I'll, the uh, well, i don't know if i should read this whole thing or um okay 
Where, where lies absolute reality when one thing depends on another? The great without the small, the beautiful without the homely, active without the passive. For each, they are merely two sides of the same mountain, one bathed in light and the other cooled in the shade, both of equal value. How, how do we judge by our own absolute standard when the truth for one may not be so for another? Our inner worlds, perceptions, experiences, each as unique as our fate. What is fair to one may be an injustice to others, an in, intra, sin, int, intransient binary rarely crossed. The wind settles the seed of opposition at the zenith of self-assurance and we turn and we grow. See, it's like a perspective. Like, you know, we can, you know, we're all here on earth, but right now, you know, some parts of the world um, is nighttime and some parts of the world, it's daytime. Now, when one person says, oh, it's nighttime, and the other person says, oh, no, it's daytime. It's not that one is right and one is wrong. It's just it's a different perspective, it, you know, depending on how you're viewing it. I feel like it's very connected to this chariot, like getting on the same page. And I love that the king and the queen of wands came out here. Um, your person, what they're offering you is king of wands. So they want to be your counterpart. They want to discuss with you, you know, your perspective. There are... Um, Thoughts right now are sun. Thoughts are sun. Um, heart space is nine of swords. So they're trying to get that balance too, that perspective. You know, it's like, is it, okay, well, the sun is out here and their thoughts and they're seeing clearly and it looks like these two have the same idea, um, you know, the same uh, goals in mind here. They're having a conversation. That's what your person wants. But at night they worry, you know, there's like... Um, uh, a balance of and they, I feel like they also wonder like do you want to go in the same direction here and then what they're most desiring is this magician energy here they want to manifest a new reality here and they know they need to you know discuss your perspective here because um you know they want to connect with you they want to create with you they want to you know move this relationship forward but they wonder if you see this relationship in the same way let's uh clarify here seven of coins yeah there's a lot of thought going on here seven seven is a very much a reflective card and i feel at night they kind of sometimes maybe they lose sleep at night because they wonder you know do you want the same things do you want to connect with me do you want to manifest a new reality I do feel like you have this um, soul connection. You you have a soul bond, uh, whether you realize it or not. You are um, you've done this before. You've had lifetimes before previously. Uh, so that's why you have such a um, a draw to each other. You know, but then sometimes it's hard to figure out like what is this intensity? Um, and yeah, look at this Empress. So your person's heart space, you know, is with you. They want to create with you. You know, Queen of Wands is very creative. King of Wands is the counterpart to that uh, Queen, or King of Wands is the counterpart to the Queen of Wands, very creative. Uh, Empress is very creative. You know, regardless of your gender, your person thinks of you. I feel like they think of you day and night here, you know, with the thought, sun in their thoughts, um, you know, nine of sword in their hard space uh you know it's nighttime they're thinking of you day and night here and they wonder if you think the same thing or if you even want the same thing they think about the future with you here with the three of wands uh we have the world card here it's like yeah it's like you consume their thoughts you consume their world their their night and day uh and they want to move forward with you but i feel like their relationship might be in pause mode right now this chariot these these Sphinx is pulling the, the chariot, the relationship chariot forward. They're at rest time. You know, they need to um, turn and look at each other. You know, they're both looking at something here, but and and both wonder i feel like maybe you're both wondering you know what what are you thinking what do you want where do you want to go and it, it's going to be going to need a discussion here seven of sword magician energy you know that that combination sometimes gets a bad rap but 
I'm feeling like they don't tell you. They they have trouble telling you um, how they truly feel. Uh, I feel like it's a fear that it's a fear that you're not on the same page or you're going to see this differently. They worry a lot about that. They worry about you. They worry about this relationship. And it feels like it's at a standstill here. I want to grab another one because, I, you know, Seven of Swords just gets a bad rap and especially attached to the magician. But I'm getting here, you know, this is what they're desiring here. You know, they don't want to be in that worry mode. You know, they want to speak their truth here. They want to manifest a new reality here. They don't want to be left in confusion, you know. Um, let's pull one here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to be focused. They want to focus and they want you to be focused also. But I feel like they both, they want to focus on the same things as you, the same goals. They want to go in the same direction as King and Queen of Wands here. Eight of Pentacle energy, Moon energy. But they have trouble telling you. Um, you know, maybe putting it into words. They want to tell you what the action they're taking towards you is Page of Cups. So I feel like they do want to tell you how they're feeling. This particular Page of Cups um, looks like she's looks like she's levitating a little bit. Looks like she's out by the ocean at night. The moon is up here. You know, there's some things not being revealed here. Um, and, you know, we have the moon card there also. Queen of Cups, though. King, this is what your person is offering you. King of Wands, Queen of Cups. It's like they want to see your point of view. They want to, um, you know, connect with you. Um, find out what, what your needs are, what your desires are. And they also want to express what their needs are and what their desires are. Uh, this devil energy. Because I feel like they think that... You know, maybe in the past it was a very, like, physical relationship and no emotions were discussed. And, you know, like, um, you know, it's this particular devil card, it's, you know, this couple uh, looks like they're in bed here. Um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, they say that um, women, women and men perceive um relationships differently they perceive sex differently sometimes men just see it as sex women see it as oh they care for me but you know sometimes men are just um and i'm not i shouldn't say it gender wise you know it's just it, i guess gender doesn't really matter but some people think that oh oh you you had sex with me you love me or or you know and other people think oh it's just sex but Something is misinterpreted here, but there is love here. And I feel like maybe in the past it was like wondering, like, is this just a hit it and quit it or am I loved here? And yes, you are very much loved here. Your person does want a new beginning with you, a new future with you, but it's got to, you know, there's a perspective here. And that's how we go back to that duality card, the perspective, like, what is this relationship? That's what has to be discussed. You know, where do you want to go? I mean, do you want this to be just friends with benefits or do you want to you know proceed here i feel like your person wants a real relationship with you but you got to discuss it in order to move forward in order to get out of the stagnation phase here yeah four coins it feels like um you know sometimes four coin can be um you know holding pattern but but really reflecting you know holding your person's holding you very dear to their heart here but there's, I feel like there hasn't been a discussion yet. Once there's a discussion, there'll be, you know, solid ground to build on. There'll be a, a, a goal to accomplish in the future. Uh, we have four cups. See, another four. Now, fours for me are about stability. But, you know, the cups are emotional stability for a coin, maybe financial stability. You know, how do we combine our, our households here? How do we go about this here? Yeah, and the three of cups, the you, me, us, past, present, future. You know, we're, what do you want? What do I want? And what do we want? You know, this is you, me, us here um, is what I'm getting here. It's like you're, you're joining your goals is what i'm getting to move your relationship forward is what i'm getting all right let us close with our oracle message we have inner wisdom a thousand thoughts will come and go allow them to come but do not attach allow them to go focus on your inner light the wisdom of your soul 
for it alone is true and everlasting. Be guided by your heart. You have all it takes to achieve what you want. Peace be with you. Bye now.